Hi, everybody. Uh, thanks so much for watching and participating and being a part of my journey so far on the Rogers Music Tour, both literally and figuratively on social media at Rogers Music Tour. And I want to start sharing some stuff with y'all about how much music means to me just to a different degree. And I'm, I'm a big believer in analogies. I'm a big believer in making things very simple to understand in large part because I'm a very simple person up here and in here. Um, and then also right here in my ears. And so the analogy I'm going to give you all today pertains to a very, very trendy thing right now that's going to probably be trendy for decades to come, and that's vinyl records. Like this one by a group called Little Feet. Or maybe this one by a group called The Hollies. I'm going to give you all some inside information, insider information, some tips, some tricks. I'm going to create a glossary and really get you all introduced to music. But I'm going to start off by giving you the greatest analogy I've ever come up with. And that is with the gift of music on vinyl. It goes like this. As a child, close your eyes. And remember the first time you had a homemade cookie, like a real homemade cookie. Maybe your grandma made it. Maybe your mom made it. Maybe you made it. I sure as hell didn't make it. Look at how good they're like into this. I've got an audience. Anyway. The first time you tasted that cookie, it was different, right? But with that being said, as a kid, you also had cookies in the cafeteria, right? You know, and they like did them in, in bulk and it tasted like cardboard. Every once in a while, you'd go to maybe 7-Eleven, you'd get a cookie, and it was still a cookie, right? And it still qualifies as a cookie, and the calories and the sugar still count. But that cookie from grandma, that homemade cookie, it was different, it had richness, it had soul to it, and it had flavor, and it had depth. Ladies and gentlemen, there's music. You can listen to it on your iPod, your iPhone, your CD player, the radio, XM, all these different ways. You might stream it, you might download it. I download music still, and that's still a cookie. But ladies and gentlemen, if you want to experience the rich, soulful, diverse, and beautiful, and tasty music, let me encourage you to please take a trip to the local record store. Tell them I sent you. If it's Josie Records, you can just say Rogers Healy, and you get 20% off, and your soul will explode with something different. And the further you get into your journey with music like I have done, you are going to find something different and something different about music and how it connects to your soul and to your heart. And you're gonna go back to that feeling you had when you tasted that first cookie. So stay tuned, Rogers Music Tour. We're just getting started. I'm gonna introduce you guys to some of my favorite musical pieces. I wish this was my only room for it, but unfortunately I am the least bit uh, minimal. Everything I do is to the extreme because you're either all in or you're all out. Pop quiz of the night. Who's that behind me? Anyway, the 500th person to follow this account, I'm going to send you my favorite records of all time. And if anybody wants to go comment below with their favorite live album, I'll send you something special as well. Welcome to Rogers Music Tour. Thanks for participating. These are my co-hosts, Batman, Coach, and Amigo. And in the background is one of my favorite singers of all time. One of the greatest performers of all time. One of the most misunderstood and hurt singers of all time from Texas. Her name is Janis Joplin. That's all we got. Stay tuned on Rogers Music Tour. Thanks for participating. And ladies and gentlemen, go get yourself a homemade cookie. Boom.